Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin today. We are going to do a turtle mold. And the only thing I didn't do was measure to see how much water it takes. So yeah, I made up six ounces. Not sure if that's going to be enough or too much. Hopefully not. Straighten up this board. Hopefully it will be enough. I'd rather have a little left over because I pulled out my seahorse just in case. But I don't know. So, glad y'all are here with me today. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm going to do two mica powders in this. I'm not going to do any glitter. Shocking. I know, but these are the doodle hogs. I just took them out in a little paper bags they come in plastic bags and this one's called ocean eyes it's like a greeny teal and then i'm gonna just use the may spring white pearl i'm gonna just divide this in half so three and three make sure this cup i know i cleaned it out so i'm gonna just do three and three and i did mix it and i will say i don't i hate to say this but I did get a new mixer. I don't know if anybody else has one of these. But it's the... It's Stoyo Mixer. Just the regular one. Up, backwards, and off. Comes with two big paddles, two small paddles. Honestly, I don't care for it. I wanted something that I could just turn on instead of holding the button. So... Yeah, I think this is going back to Amazon. I, it turns so slow. I've never had a mixer turn that slow before in my life. The other one I had, that I had to hold the button, goes like 100 miles an hour. This one might go 20. So, yeah, this one's going back. I am going to try the AI one. They say it's faster with three speeds. So, that's what I'm going to try. And if all else fails, it'll be going back as well. But yeah, I don't recommend this one. Where's the box so I can show you guys? Anyway, y'all should know. Where did I put the box at? Y'all should probably know what I'm talking about. Well, where did I put the box? Oh, there it is. Who helped me? Losing it. It's just the Estorio rechargeable mixer this one comes with the two small two big paddles i like the paddles i ain't gonna lie i really do like the paddles and this is like the third day i've used it but i i don't like it i'm not gonna lie to you i brought it with my own money even if it was gifted to me i would have the same issue it's slow and quite honestly, it made more bubbles than my other one does in my resin. So yeah, I just thought I would let y'all know this. That's my honest opinion. That's just my honest opinion. So, hey, it is what it is. Alright, so we got these beautiful turtles. The mama and the two babies. And we are just going to mix up some of these mica powders. And I'm going to pour dark and light in the head and let it be and i want to i'm not going to put anything even no crushed crystal so let's get started with so i'm gonna just put one scoop in here i don't want it no i kind of went overboard with the um <laughs> the uh, mic powder yesterday yeah look at that that is so pretty so pretty it's almost like a well I don't know when it's dry it might not be but it's almost like a color shifting mica powder at least it is you know it might not do that once it's dry so yeah I am going to put one more scoop in here though that's two scoops of whatever I could get on this big old stick here and I'm going to just stir it up real good. I am using my regular resin. The um Shab 
baby. That's what I call it, shop baby. I don't know, I might be chopping that name to a million pieces. But I like the resin. I also like the tea expert resin. I could be saying that wrong as well, but I do like those. Let me just see here. Okay, that looks good. Yes, I used two scoops. Make sure all my mica powder. So I'm going to put the top on this so I do not spill it. And then in this one, this is the one I mixed it in. I am going to put like probably two scoops of the mother of pearl as well. Or white pearl. I, hey, that's the wrong stick. I, I, call, I don't know why I call it mother of pearl, but I do. I'm one, two scoops in that one. And it's already shimmery, this one is. So, I am not going to look at all that pretty pearl. It, it really is pearl. Pearl is a beautiful color. Yes, it is. Oh, Lord, mica powder's flying. That's some fine mica powder, I will say that. Which means it mixes well. If it's fine. Alrighty. I did not put this through the vacuum chamber because I'm just going to make bubbles anyway. Stir it in all this mica powder. And I'm hoping six ounces is enough for this. Honestly, I'm not sure. Boy, that's a pretty. What's, what did I call that? What was that called? Ocean Eyes. That is gorgeous. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty color. Yes, it is. I can't wait to see what it looks like once it's been demolded with that color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try my very best to pour at all of it at once. But you see all these little crevices? I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to do my best not to make a mess. I'm going to spray a little more alcohol. Actually, I'm going to turn on this heat mat. Because once your resin starts warming up, it kind of flows a little bit better as well. I'm going to just turn it on low. I am going to spray a little bit in here because all those bubbles are starting to pop up here. Like I said, it didn't. This one doesn't have as many bubbles popping up. It surely does. Oh, uh, I'm telling you, I swear this is a color shift powder because, wow, that is awesome. And that is the ocean eyes. I don't know if it's gonna do that when it dries. And I don't think I've used this one before. This color one, but boy, is that pretty. Lord have mercy. That is gorgeous. Make sure all of my mica powder. I don't feel like pulling out a heat gun or I would run that heat gun through there. I don't feel like that. I just put it away. Alright, so I am going to spray this mold just because of all the little nooks and the crannies. And it has a whole ton of them. And I am really, really hoping that I do not get no bubbles. I hopefully y'all can see this. I'm going to just try to take my time here. I don't want to just throw it in here. I don't like my best I try not to throw it in here. Ooh, it's coming out too fast. Because you know what? I do not want to clean up through every little piece here. Can you imagine? I can and I don't want to. You know what? I think I'm going to pour this in a paper cup because I can't bend this one so I'm gonna pour this one into a 
paper cup to where I can kind of control it a little bit better. So, yeah. Other than that, I probably have it everywhere. See, I can control it a little bit better in this paper cup. Boy, I hope that stays. Let me see if I can push this down. I think y'all are in the shop, but I just want to make sure. I really hope this stays color stays like that and you know what I might have to mix up some more Oop! came out a little quick there all right let me get to pour some more like I said I'm really trying not to make a mess and have it come out so fast but it is what it is I may have to make up some more. I'm going to try to get this to flow in here now before that blue catches up to everything. Just be a little patient with it. That's what I'm trying not trying to keep my patience going here. Well, at least time, the next time I pour this mold, I'll definitely know how much resin this little booger will take. Ooh, come on, stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'm going to stop pouring this white for a minute. And I'm going to try to get me some more of this blue in here. Try to get some more of this blue, which I'm probably going to have to make some more resin. Why does it seem like I have less? Well, because I poured it in another cup. Duh. I was like, why am I running out of blue? I forgot I did pour some in this cup. So, yeah. Did any get in here? Yeah, okay, now it is, especially. And it's going to blend itself, so yay. It's going to blend by itself. I love turtles. They're so pretty. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit more white in here. I'm hoping I'm not missing, no, I'm not missing anything, because those aren't supposed to be no, those aren't supposed to be poured. Those little holes. Phew, thought I'd miss something there for a minute. Yeah, I'm really trying to keep clean up to a minimum. <laughs> really trying. Those, all these little nooks and crannies, boy. I don't know, I feel like sitting here doing that all to every one of these little pieces. Maybe a couple, fine. I wonder, do we go all the way up? I don't know, I'm confused now. I know we're not supposed to go past these little lines. I know that much. So, yeah. Get a little bit more in this little head here. I just feel like these littler ones are going to be very difficult to pour. Only because the holes are even smaller. 
I thought this was just a beautiful mold. Get a little bit more in. Oh, see? A little too quick there, Sheila. A little too quick. Okay. Okay, where'd my wipe go? And I came out again quick. Try not to pour it so fast. And I think I'm about um, halfway through my white here. Let me get a little bit more of this blue in here. Those, these bottom turtles are not going to take as much as Big Mama here. I already know that. Not going to take as much as Big Mama Turtle. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful teal, green, blue. It's more green than blue, but boy, is it pretty. All right, let's see how much more we can take here. All right, let me go on and get the rest of oops, this in here. Might not have any extra for my starfish, but I mean starfish, the um seahorse, but that's okay. As long as I've got enough with these turtles, I'm good. I always have an extra mold on hand just in case. You just never know. Even if you get a little piece of something in there, it's better than nothing. And fill things up. You'd be surprised how they look when you just take different projects and put them together. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go on and just start on. Let me spray this one again. I'm just going to start a little bit on this one. Let it start ooh, running. Yeah, I'm dripping. It's going everywhere. Maybe I need to pinch it a little bit better there. I'm going to let it go on and start running through here. Okay. I think I am going to get me another cup, though, and put this white in. Because those heads are very, very small there. And hard to pour. So I would rather have a smaller cup to control everything with if I have to. I think I have a lot more white than I do... I sworn I divided that up correctly. Maybe it's just me. But I could have sworn I divided that right. Alright, let me pinch my cup here. Try to get a little bit more in him. Yeah, the head is very difficult. Especially on those little bitty babies. think pouring slowly without the window on this one it went out the window
Yeah, it's leaking down the whole side. Yeah, this is not an easy mold to pour. I mean, yeah, you could just throw it in here, but I'm trying not to have clean up. I'd rather take my time and do a job right. Or at least to the best of my ability, anyway. Sorry if it's just I'm boring you guys and you all are just like, oh, we gotta watch this lady pour all these little miniature pieces in this turtle. We're gonna go to sleep over here. Don't fall asleep on me, you guys. Don't fall asleep. Don't go to sleep on me. No, I really don't know how full this booger's supposed to be, but it looks pretty good. I know we don't want to go over the uh, these things. I do. This one needs a little more in it over here, definitely. Like I said, if I have cleanup, oh well. Oops. Dang it. I done hit the button on the mat with my finger. Alright, we're going to get a little bit more in this one. And we are almost full on him. Uh, there we go. Got me a baby wipe over here. I am really hoping I do not have to make up anymore. Y'all stop scooting that chair on my wood floors! Don't scratch on my floors. And then they do it again. Boy, I tell you. Kids. Alright, we get a full on this one. Oops. Oh, can you take any more? You know what? Let me just go on and start filling up ba the other baby over here. And oh, let me see if I can get this to where I can actually... Okay, you guys. I might not be... Okay, I can scoot him a little bit. He might be a little harder to get to here. Okay, dokey smokey. Oh, I'm going to go wring a child neck. As soon as I say something, that's when they really start doing it louder. Oh, Lord, now I'm making messes. You know what? I'll just wipe the turtle head off because turtle head is very hard. Just hoping I have enough. All right, let me get something. Just want to wipe the tops off a little bit here. Alright, let's start pouring the tail. And the flippers.
I think we got enough six ounces. And I think we we will have plenty. So six ounces should cover it, but we'll know once we pour a little bit more here. So yeah, I'm thinking six ounces will cover you on the turtle. And I am almost out of blue. So we are going to be finishing up with this white, I guess. I am almost out of the blue. We're running on our last legs. Yep. We are almost at, oops, out of the blue. Get some more white in. Hopefully we have enough white. Really didn't feel like making up no more. But I will if I have to. Lord, I wish I could snore like that, Zeus. Goodness, dog over here sleeping like a baby. I wish I could snore and sleep peacefully like the puppy dog. Goodness. So I think six ounces is good. It's not all the way. I don't think it's all the way filled. So maybe seven ounces would do it all the way. But I think if you go all the way, you take the risk of running over as well. So yeah, because I don't think you have to. That's going to be some. It all make well, it don't matter. Shoot it all, go blend. That's fine. Just trying to get some in here, but my cup is finito, finished, dinata done. Oops, yes, it is. Yep, yep, yep. It is done. It's about all we getting out of her. May have some cleanup to do. Pretty sure. And my resin is starting to thicken up because I have the heat mat on. It goes from being super, super, like, flowy to setting up real quick, like. I really hope this camera's still going. I switched over to the other camera today. I really hope it's still going. I ain't even thought about that. Watch your tail, Zeus. Oh, yay, we're still running. Woohoo! Okay, so we can get rid of that. Let's see if we can get any of this. Oh, yeah, see my blue sticking it up. Let me see if we can get any of this out of here. Get him over in here some kind of way. There we go. 
it will just continue to flow. That is a pretty, pretty blue. I can't wait to see what it does after demold. I literally cannot wait. Because that is a beautiful green blue. And I guess, see, they named it right. Ocean Eyes. Like the eye of the ocean's looking at you. Okay, no, I did not want to put you there. I don't even think we have to stir these. They're just going to blend together on their own. Okay, I got that. I could throw this little paper cup away. I got a few dots in here I can get out of this one. Where do I want him to go? Well, he's just going to fall right there. Lord, I think I left my drink in the dining room. I am thirsty now. I need some water. I think I left my cup in the dining room. Okie dokie, Smokies. That is all I'm going to be able to get out of here. I am going to clean up. When we come back, it will be time to demold and we'll see. See, each one is going to look different. So, yeah. Each one will look different. Really hope we have no bubbles. Really hope it. Really, really hoping we have. Oh, yeah, I can't take my gloves off. I need to clean. I forgot. Yeah. All right, you guys. I will see y'all on D mold hello everyone and welcome back to reptiles and resin woohoo okay so our mold is dry I want to see how they gonna turn out and if I can get them out oh boy oh wow yeah these did <laughs> All these little indentations in here make it a little bit rough. Oh my. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's pliable, but it's not that soft. If that makes sense. It's hard, but yet still a little bit soft. But all these little things here is... Woo, Oh, okay. Uh, they're popping out slowly, but they're popping. I feel like I'm playing with a poppet. It's a poppet turtle mold. Oh my. Damn. Thought I loosened that. Okay, I'm going to let him sit there and thing. We will try to get this one out now. Ow, his little tail is pointy. Yes, it is. He's got a little pointy tail. Oh, come on. He's got a pointy tail. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. mold to demold but I think it's the hardest either there we go he's a coming myrtles the turtles are coming oh. come on little head oh, alrighty 
Well, I don't see much cleanup at all so far. So good. All right, now the big one should be a little bit easier because he's he's bigger. So okay, maybe not. <laughs> there to irritating okay he don't want to come out trying to stay in the shot here who lord mm. arthritis in the hand hooks ow Hoods, ow. The rip. Mm. Whew. Yeah, he's a little booger to pull off of here. Goodness. And it took six ounces, but I think I got could have got away with probably seven to eight ounces in here as well. Why is his butt stuck? Alrighty, woohoo! Shake some of that loose resin off of here, which isn't too bad. Woohoo! Alright, let's see where can I put that mold at. Alright, so the um, mica powder on this side does look like it kind of shifts color a little bit. Let's see. I don't know. To me, it, it slightly seems like it shifts color. That's maybe it's just up under these lights. Hey, where those two spots of red glitter come from, boy? I tell you. <laughs> oh, goodness, these look really cute, though. I likey. A little bit of hanging. Where did those specks of red glitter come from? There's two there. There's two. <laughs> no, three. <laughs> Four. Unless that's purple. Okay, he didn't get any glitter, but I did get one itty bitty bitty bubble right there in his little flipper. Oh, oh, yep, there it goes. That looks like a gold piece. Uh, just glitter goes everywhere. Oh, these are so freaking cute. These are adorable. Oh, that's another piece of glitter. And, oh, and I did get a bubble right there and right here. But you know what? They're hardly noticeable. They don't hurt anything. Yeah, these turned out good, though. But yeah, I got, got one bubble there. Where did that other bubble go? Oh, right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's the biggest bubble I got out of them all right there. I'm really surprised there wasn't more because of all the little indentations. But it turned out gorgeous. I love this turtle molds. And then you get three of them. Three turtles. Three turtles. I love this. These are so pretty. It can be done in so many different colors. So many different colors. Yes, they can. What is that? Oh, some overage. Yeah, on the back there. Oh, and there go big old purple glitter right there. <laughs> oh, well, he has spots. He has spots. But I like these. I think y'all will like these too. They are really adorable molds. I got these molds off of Timu. I, yeah, it was Timu. I think they were like eight bucks. But considering you get like three turtles for an eight dollar mold, the mold seem like it's made very, very, very well. You know, sometimes you get them and they're not. But that mold seems to be made 
very, very well. So yeah, I think y'all will like this. And I really like that ocean eye blue. I'm telling you, it seems like it changes color to me. It's got this, I don't know, it, it, it just seems like it, it shifts a little bit. I don't think y'all can pick it up okay. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes. But to me, it seems like it does. But yeah, these are too adorable as a set. Wow. They would be easy to hang on the wall. Put you the finest little nail right there and just hang them up. Or you can do them sideways. That would be easy. Yeah, that would be easy to hang up. Those are really pretty. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of our three-pack turtle mold here that come all together. Like I said, um, I use six ounces, but I think you could get away with seven or eight. Yeah, because it wasn't all the way filled, like, to the very, very tippy top. And you don't have to do that with these. I mean, you're not going to leave these really laying around like that. You're going to hang these on the wall, and you're never going to really see the back. So, yeah, I mean, they're they're going to be hanging yeah so those are really pretty if you don't have this mold i would say get it if you like the sh the designs in them at least because they are really pretty and also another idea i wouldn't i don't i, I mean i'm not gonna do it but because i like the holes in it but you can also put this on some tape and go back and fill in these holes with glitter different color resins just put it on your um sticky tape make sure it's stuck down real good and fill it up with glitter or other colors or vice versa use this color inside these holes use this color inside these holes but i like it with the um design holes in the middle here but that's definitely a thought though Put you some of that UV tape on there or or some um, contact paper down. Get it stuck real good and you can fill it up with glitter or mica powder or anything else you'd like to fill them up with. I mean, it would it, you could do it all kind of colors in it. That That's a good idea. Might do it one day, but not on these. <laughs> I like these the way they are. All right, you guys. I hope everyone has a very blessed day i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a comment so i can read all y'all beautiful comments and likes and don't forget to share bye for now everyone have a blessed day bye